Uh, I thank the chair for holding this hearing. I thank the witnesses, and I look forward to hearing the testimony uh, to discuss these three pieces of renewable energy legislation. Um, it makes the first renewable energy hearing that we've held in this subcommittee in a year and a half, I guess, nearly two years. Um, I, I'm, I'm pleased that the majority has brought forth um, two uh, of the three bills in a bipartisan way, and it's nice to see that the bills uh, that would waive the National Environmental Protection Act aren't the only kinds of legislation that the majority is capable of advancing. Um, the potential for renewable energy development on our public lands, it, it's fair to say, is tremendous. Um, obviously, there's the potential to create huge amounts of domestic uh, clean energy that will make us less dependent on fossil fuels and on foreign nations, but there's also the potential for developing new industries, creating green jobs, providing valuable revenue streams. Um, and of course, there's the potential for making mistakes. And so we have to uh, do this in a wise way. Uh, the Obama administration has taken strong steps to develop renewable energy on our public lands. Uh, since uh, taking office, this administration has approved nearly 14 gigawatts of renewable energy projects, nearly 10 times more than existed before, 10 times more, not 10 percent more, uh, than before they took office. Um, and um, when they took office, there were no solar energy projects operating on public lands. Now there are three and uh, many more on the way. I should note, although that's not the subject of today's hearings, uh, there are still no offshore wind turbines in American waters. I remember taking a trip with this committee some years back under a previous chair um, to, uh, to Denmark, seeing the offshore wind that was underway uh, a decade ago. Um, uh, the administration has been taking aggressive steps, I think, in the right direction, including the announcement just this month of a competitive lease sale for wind energy off the coast of our state in New Jersey. And I look forward to following that process closely as we move forward. I think it's noteworthy that while we have um, three bills on the agenda today, two of them, as I mentioned, have significant uh, majority and minority support. Um, H.R. 596, the Public Lands Renewable Energy Development Act of 2013, would create a competitive leasing system for onshore solar and wind development, direct some of the revenues to states, counties, and for conservation purposes. I understand that the wind and solar energies continue to have some concerns about moving toward competitive leasing. I hope that today's hearing will outline a process that will help move rapidly uh, projects toward approval while building support in local communities. I also note that H.R. 596 is supported by a broad coalition of environmental and conservation groups. H.R. Uh, uh, 2004, the Geothermal Production Expansion Act of 2013, was introduced by uh, Representative Simpson and DeFazio and helped uh, uh, legitimate geothermal developers by giving them a limited and tailored opportunity to purchase a lease of up to one square mile non-competitively if they've made an actual discovery. And the bill would require that these leases be announced with a chance for people to raise objections if they believe the lease is unwarranted or the price is too low. Uh, I recently met with Assistant Secretary Danielson of the Department of Energy's Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy, and I want to point out uh, that their work is relevant to advancing the kinds of things that we're talking about in this legislation. Um, I realize that's not what today's hearing is about, but since that part of the Department of Energy seems to come under attack so often here in the House, I'd like to point out that it actually helps uh, do what uh, the majority is trying to accomplish here. Uh, the third bill, bill we're hearing today, unfortunately, uh, pulls directly from the repeal NEPA playbook that uh, has been uh, the, the guiding uh, plan here uh, in this subcommittee so often. Exploring Geothermal Energy on Federal Lands Act would exempt geothermal test wells from NEPA analysis. That's a step 
a big step in the wrong direction. I certainly support the sponsor's goal of encouraging geothermal development, um, but the way to do it is not by relying on waiving environmental review. So I look forward to um, the testimony. I thank the chair for holding this hearing. All right, and thank you. I will now recognize the author of H.R. 596, Representative Gosar, for a brief statement.